Hi, my name is Jonathan Hooper, and I'm the recipient of the 2020 Braille Institute Teacher of the Year Award. My goal is to prepare students to be adults with visual impairments that are independent and successful and thriving in a world that is designed for people without visual impairments. Jonathan is sitting in front of the computer screen working on a lesson plan for one of his students while we hear from one of his colleagues, Giovanka Brinoni. You know, the first thing he told me was that he loved Braille and he's enraptured with Braille right now and it brings much joy to everyone. He's extremely successful at what he does. I hope to impact my students' lives in ways that they have access to everything that their peers without visual impairments have access to. Through my giving them access to those things, they know what's available to them that then they can advocate for in, in their lives outside of school. My name is Amina. I'm a freshman at FDR High School in Brooklyn, New York. Mr. Hooper wanted me to be independent outside of school too, so he would give me tips or ideas on how I should talk to people about wanting to be independent. For example, as a blind person, when you go out in public with people, people ask that person what you want, and he always told me, like, don't let someone else answer for you. Amina is sweeping her cane and walking side by side with Jonathan in a park. Mr. Hooper never gave up on none of his students and he was always determined to help them learn whether it was Braille, technology, a new language or anything. And he always saw potential in all of them. He also taught me how to use voiceover on my phone, which I didn't know before. That's like my number one tool now, like it's my phone. I use it all the time. What I like most about being a teacher who works with kids with visual impairments is just the diversity of our group of students. In the morning, I might start my day with a student who is a high school Braille user making worksheets for their physics class. I might go to another school and be working with a student with a visual impairment and like additional disabilities. Go to my next school helping of how to make a recess activity accessible. Go, go, go. Jonathan helps one of his students, Niall, with a recess activity of running on the playground while holding on to a zip line. My first name is Niall and I'm in fourth grade. Jonathan has been my teacher for two years. He's been working with me. Uh, I still see him every day um, in person and on Zoom. Jonathan does deserve the award. Jonathan expects big things like first that I can do it. He gets this award called the Braille Challenge to see how well we do on Braille. I do the Braille Challenge. I've done it two times before. It's challenging, but I like it. Niall is typing on a Perkins Brailler during the 2020 Braille Challenge competition. I want my students to be dreaming big right now. I want them to achieve whatever goals they set for themselves. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, uh. yeah. very good. Jonathan conducts a Zoom remote learning session with his student named Hudson. Remote learning and distance learning and hybrid has created barriers between me and my students. TBIs as a community, we've worked together to really make distance learning a period of time when high quality instruction is still happening. He's a best square teacher. I can read in the dark. If mom doesn't know what line I'm on, we start putting numbers but we were finding Hudson would lose his place and Jonathan couldn't help him get back to it. To him, just looked like white paper. So like we take a Sharpie marker and like mark the top of the word so Jonathan knows where he is and we number the lines now. That's what Hudson was telling you. Yeah, that's the one. He pivoted with far more grace than most people I know, myself included, to the land of remote work. Jonathan is very innovative as well. There's so much happening in that interaction that it yields these innovative um, scenarios and stories for families and children. And it's rather beautiful to witness. One thing I think I'll remember about Mr. Hooper is how he always knew when I was having a bad day. He would ask me what happened, like he would always help me out in life as a TBI and as someone who would always be there for me. Jonathan is not only a teacher, He's also a good friend to me. 
kids. I can't imagine doing anything else. Um, I love my job and I, I hope to be doing it for a very long time.